Well, welcome to the holiday and Christmas season, Harvest Family and Friends. Pastor Dan here with Pastor Andrew. Man, we we love you guys. We're so excited and so thankful for all that God is doing uh, here at Harvest, and He has great, great plans. This Christmas season, we're going to be studying uh, John 1, 1 through 18 in our Christmas in the Neighborhood uh, series, and really concentrating on John 1, 14, where one version of that passage says that the Word became flesh and moved into the neighborhood. And now this whole year, our, th- our theme is build your church, the G- our cry of our hearts that Jesus would build his church. Now to build your church, we need to be the church, be the church in our neighborhood. So we've come up with a Christmas challenge this season to get all of us involved because the church is people. The church is you and it's me and it's not confined to walls and a building, um, but we have an opportunity to go be the church and impact our communities with the gospel. So Pastor Andrew, tell us a little bit about what this Christmas challenge is this season. So this is called the Christmas in the Neighborhood Connect Four Challenge. Basically, we're taking the the idea of the game Connect Four, where you get four things in a row, and we're using that to challenge you to reach your yeah. neighborhood, to get out of your comfort zone, and to go talk to people. That's hard for people like me that are talk introverts. You actually got to talk to people. It's go an insane outside of your challenge. garage. Yeah, we yeah. actually left that off. You don't get credit for talking to people. That's just part of the challenge. <laughs> but to look, have different challenges on here for you to uh, to accomplish uh, things like um, making homeless packets and maybe like Ziploc bags that when you pull up to a stop sign, you can roll down your window and and hand them something that, that, that to uh, to help them throughout the season. Or things like leaving snacks for delivery. Drivers. I don't know if your house is like mine, but the Amazon guy will be there a lot. All so the time. leave some yeah. snacks outside. Sure. Uh, praying for people. If you go out to eat, maybe ask your your waiter or waitress or your, yep. your server, "Hey, how can I pray for you before we before we eat our dinner?" Yeah. And through all of these challenges, the number one thing we want to challenge you to do and encourage you to encourage you to do is to invite people to church. We're going to have awesome uh, Christmas series and Christmas Eve invite cards, and we would love to you for you to take a bunch of those. And so as you do these challenges, yeah. hand them to people and invite them. Yeah, because we want to invite them into what God is doing. We really believe that the gospel changes everything, and what an opportunity we have to go into our neighborhoods to be the hands and the feet of Jesus. And so the, the heartbeat of this is to get four in a row, right? Vertically, horizontally, diagonally, and it is a challenge. And if you choose to accept this challenge, and we hope that you do, there is a potential reward attached to it. So for uh, when you fill out this out, we want you to circle the ones that you do, Drop them off at, and at church. There will be a place for you to give them and on the table in the back of the sanctuary. And then you will be entered to win a gift card in January. So every four in a row that you complete, so whether you can do it once, you can do it twice, you can do it as many as you want, you'll get one entry into this exciting competition. And I have a special challenge for you, for you type A's out there, for the competitive people out there. You, you know who I'm talking to. Um, if you want to do every single one of these, if you do every one of these boxes, I will have a very special prize for you uh, that you will not want to miss. And now you can get creative. We really want you to be creative. And if you have an idea uh, that is not exactly on this, uh, this grid, this challenge, feel free to do it and write it in. Like there's one up here that says invite people over for dinner. Well, what if you have a game night? It's like, great, just write in game night and circle that anyway. And you can go above and beyond because the heart of this is to reach and to connect our neighborhood. Maybe you've lived in your neighborhood for a week or maybe it's been 10 years, but you don't even know your neighbor's names. This is now the time to start, right? And so we we have the hope of the gospel, and we get to share the gospel with people. Now, Pastor Andrew, you are a self-declared introvert. Absolutely. I'm decently extroverted, but this challenge is for both the introverted and the extroverted, right? Absolutely. Yes. It's, it's going to be hard, so for people like me that are introverts, it's going <laughs> to, again, require that we push ourselves outside of our comfort right. zone to reach our community, and that's that's harder for some of us. Right. But I promise you, you can do it. Nothing right. bad will happen. Right. So let's go for it. Let's do it. And, and even if you're more extroverted, and for all of us, I want to encourage us with this reality. I want to challenge us with three things. I want us to be uh, to pursue this with an authenticity, like a genuine care for our neighbors. That's why we're doing this. Because even as we say build your church, which is really Great Commission focused to fulfill the mission, the Great Commission flows out of the Great Commandment. The Great Commandment in Matthew 22 says, Love the Lord your God vertically with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength and love your neighbor as yourself. And so that's where this challenge comes from. The Great Commission flows out of the Great Commandments. We want to love our neighbor with an authentic love. We want to do it with an intentionality. We want to be purposeful with our interactions, which is why we want to be missional, inviting them to church. You are the first gospel many people will ever read or see. And we want to share and show the love of God with our lips 
and with our life and what an incredible opportunity. So we want to be intentional and as you, we want to be prayerful uh, because we believe that when we pray, God's going to give you opportunities that you expect and don't expect. So be proactive, but also be reactive because what if somebody comes into your office or, you know, who is my neighbor, like the Good Samaritan, or what if your neighbor has an issue? What an opportunity we have to get to connect them. And as we pray, God will move and God will work and we want to be generous. We want to have a heart of generosity. So intentionality, authenticity, generosity. Christmas is all about generosity. God giving the greatest and most generous gift ever, Jesus Christ, his son, he gave his best into our mess. We don't clean ourselves up so that we can become family. We can experience the unconditional love of God. And that is at the heart of this challenge so that our neighbors who are hurting can experience the hope of the gospel of Jesus. So Harvest, let's not just go to church. Yes, let's invite people to church and Christmas Eve. That's a huge part of this. But let's be the church. That's the challenge. That's the mission. And I hope that you choose to accept it. So this Christmas season, know that you are loved and your neighbors are loved. So let's share the love of God and so they can experience the hope of the gospel of Jesus Christ.